some people say if it serves a function other than to look at it, it's not art. The vi violin maker is an artist. Um, it has to be an art. Um, it is an art for the creation of art. I'd say maybe within the violin, those limitations are a little closer. You have to make it sound like the violin. And I've seen some that are made for not playability, but for just their unique uh, visual characteristic. I think there are elements of of what I'm doing that has uh, that that is art, but I re I don't regard myself as an artist. Never have. Um, I'm a craftsman. The thing about you know, playing an instrument or making an instrument is that it is just like any work of art. It is your personal expression. If it has a utility, I think uh, that's a good thing. I'm Ben Liggett, and I'm a luthier, which is also... <laughs> My name is Lloyd Prinz. Um, I'm a Tulsa area guitar builder. My name is Will Scarstead from New York, and I'm a violin maker. My name is Casey Marshall, and I'm the creator of Flying Pick Guitar. I'm Larry Hefner. I am a luthier, and I build acoustic guitars. And the room that I'm in right now is where almost everything else, everything happens. Well, actually, I'm not a luthier or a violin maker because they are both, uh, I'm not a maker. I am a uh, uh, person that does bench work on instruments. to go to the next level of an artist. I, again, I'm just not comfortable putting myself or even thinking about myself. I, I just don't, I don't want to do that. I want to make instruments as well as I can. I want to please my clients, make them happy. because We are working for the musicians. I learn how to select wood that has the best, what I think are the tone qualities I want. I learned how to select certain cuts. Those are craft skills. I learned how to run machines, uh, hand tools first and then automated CNC. I learned how to write in 3D modeling programs that would run my CNC. Those are craft type skills. And so when I get some of these pieces off the mill, they require hand work. Either me or somebody else here will, will will use hand tools. And so I regard that as, 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 as a craft, building a tool for the person that's using this tool in the arts. So when it comes to making a violin and you, you have to you know, show this deep reverence, respect for the old makers, uh, you know, up to the point where we're almost, you know, copying the shapes, the, 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 the the measurements, the milli, you know, to the tenths of millimeter measurements within the instrument, er everything that I've struggled with a little bit. Where you know, it's, but but then then again, I don't want to make a violin that looks you know totally wild with like stars instead of the f holes or so. You know, I'm not interested in that either. I think the way I currently look at it is those old forms, like basically any art form, there are limitations somewhere. In my 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 uh, market is the electric guitar, country and rock genre, 
And there are guys who are building phenomenal pieces of art. Um, it is an art for the creation of art, in, in my opinion. And, and by that I mean every box, every bedpan has something different. If I'm pretty good, but I don't know if I, any instrument maker could make two absolutely identical. Uh, I'm primarily a visual artist, a painter. I started building these guitars just because uh, it's one of my bucket list things and uh, uh, would show them to friends, family, you know, and they would say, well, why don't you incorporate your artwork with it? So many times, like if I'm designing a shape for a guitar body, I literally do draw it out and hang it on the wall and, and look at it for a long time. I, I'll think I'll have it perfect and I'll hang it on the wall and then I'll come back in the shop the next day and I'm like, God. I got a pinch and pull here and there, and I, I definitely, I definitely approach it in a similar way to someone painting a painting, at least the visual aspect of it. These works are playable. They, 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 they are alive through the players, and every different player is going to different sound, get a different sound out of the same instrument, perhaps. So, uh, it's a very um, I'd say that the process is one that, that's uh, always moving forward, and yet you're continually immersed in the past. It, it, it's a question that clearly I have. Uh, <laughs> conflicting uh, perspectives on but but yes it is an art it is an art is it is it um a fully creative field not necessarily because you're respecting a form an old form um but that being said it's a it's job uh, in the arts it's it, my days are filled with creativity so i'm are we carpenters or are we artists you know what yeah. what but it's you know it's somewhere in between the two